Oh, good evening and welcome to Black Country Blitz PC Gaming. Right, this is a journey I started over on Twitch. It was originally 3,000 miles. And drive, as you can see, I've got 1,671 left to do. I've still got 2 hours and 12 minutes of driving, or should I say streaming left to do uh, to deliver this trailer now I've had one or two issues with the stream so I've had to start stop it start stop it some apparent reason YouTube don't love me again tonight anyway looks like it sorted itself out and we can get on and deliver these forklift um, parts I think or it's but even before Cliffs it's been that long since I looked what I'm actually delivering now the journey's probably going to be late by the time I get it anyway because I've started um, I did a thousand miles the first day I did one thousand some odd miles the second stream so or just about so it might be late, I don't know. We'll get there. When we get there, we'll find out, will we? Again, I don't play it for that. If I'm late, then I'm late. Um, it's the only thing when you do these big map combos, the jobs are few and far between. Um, so, you know, I might drive to a destination and it's only gear one job and that's it. Unless you get to another company and um, try and get a better job here yeah? now when I've delivered this eventually in 2 hours and 11 minutes <laughs> I can get past slow vehicles like this um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the slider down so it gives me shorter jobs but I'll do more if that makes sense so there will be like 3000 more journeys plus even gaming wise four hours constantly driving is a little bit too long folks Turn right yeah. so you know rather than you sit here i know some of you like me to do longer journeys Please turn and it's right. all right if there's more than one of us yeah so oh mr turning that were all good so when there's more of us we do a convoy at some stage then that's fine you know because we do like to do right soon. a longer stream but i don't want to sit here boring the hell out of you all please turn right now i've got my truck app up that's what you can see that purple thing in the right corner it gives you all the information of what's going on at the moment with this haul so it tells you what truck i'm driving which is a scanner s how much damage it's got which i don't think it's got any at the present time um please use the right lane i think i've got a little bit the right exit. on the trailer six percent which ain't too bad to consider i've drove Please nearly two thousand right and odd mile um how much fuel i've got left how big my fuel tank is so it's 264 gallon tank and i've now got 217 gallons still left 
and on that I can do 1,595 miles. So basically I only need to fill up once to get to this destination but of course I will do that so I'll probably fill up in a minute well not the get it to about three quarters or just just past half and then I'll fill up there's nothing worse than driving and running out of diesel now where am I going now please use the right lane and turn right second me on a well goose chase again because I missed the turn please turn right come on game hate it when it does this and hopefully this will set me back on the right track I hope Basically I've just gone round and round his heckles just to get back to where I should be heading. Anyway. And typical another nighttime stream till it gets light. And honestly I don't choose these. They just must look at me and go right he streams through the night, so that's what we'll game. <laughs> another place discovered again another one that I call pronounced so we are even going to try Drive straight ahead. Whoa. Oh, cracked roads again. Now, I'll PM. Well, I they actually PM one, but I left him a comment on his channel thanking him uh, for what he'd done, and he was all on about the. I was telling him about the road textures on these routes and hey lo and behold we've got another one that's sending me all over the place now there's no way you can do the designated 43 or was it 40 yeah 43 mile an hour on roads like that but it's good it really Please is Please use the left lane Please use the right lane, then drive straight on. Now them big patches, like that one and that one, every time I drive over them, I get twitches in the force feedback and I also get a pump pump in the transducers with a cushion. So if you watch yesterday's stream, I was having issues with it just to try and get it to um, 
sort of work the same time as the force feedback in the wheel. So just by moving the sliders back and forth a little bit, or in this case with it's cushion, it's up and down. Um, it's working well today. And it's a good thing it still keeps the same settings as previous. It does jump out of like into a different setting. It remembers the last setting that you had for certain games. So if I was to change this, put a racing game on and then jump back into Euro Trucks or American, it knows which profile it used last time. So it's a good like that. And that's the SRS Shaker Cushion by Sim Racing Studio. Or oh, somewhere in America. Shame they got a distributor here in the UK. We'll put down on cost. Careful driving coming through there. It's 25 mile stretch of road again. Might as well come down the gears and do it properly. I'll drop me below 25, it's in 5th gear. I do like this new version of uh, Trucky app though. It's um, when it gives you the time on how long your destination is going to be reached. Like the two hours, six minutes. So I know how long I'm going to be streaming for, which is, is, is good really. You know, people know how long you're going to be on for. We should tell them these, now these used to be a lot brighter, these, um, what you call them, road signs and stuff of late, they ain't as bright as they used to be. Since the update, whether it's this weather mod I've got on, because that does affect like uh, fog and stuff like that but I could see it being foggy <clears throat> I do know though if I take it off the screen does become a lot lighter but again I don't get the noise rain I don't get the noise thunder sounds so you know what I just leave it as it is and it's just a little bit like I said on the last couple of streams when you've got so much ambient light like the bedroom light window there and the light from the other window which you know please use the right lane it's a good job it's a nice big telly and i ain't got a squint to see it um this is why i really want to jump in vr at least i know it'll be door please take the right exit and it don't matter what time of day that i'll play 
any of these games light pollution are going to be a problem. Nah, I'm still waiting on my good buddy Mo. He has been using VR, but not the one I thought he was using. So, he's going to keep me updated on his when he gets here. Please turn left. I mean, Mark Booth used track IR. Again, quite a lot of people do as well. It's a, a new bit of, quit, uh, bit of a kit. Again, some of us use Telbioi tracking bar as well. Um, for anybody that's new to the channel or is just looking in now, um, I do own a Telbioi tracking, but it's not compatible with this size screen. Um, but it can get you boy without using a mouse but if I had to um, say to anybody which one is the better of the two then track IR all the way yeah and if you buy the Pro Bundle which consists of the track IR Pro which I'm wearing now which fits onto a set of headphones or you and you also get a clipped version which is not tethered to your PC uh, as this one's tethered to a USB and so there's two wires one coming off for my headphones and another one for the track IR luckily you only have to use one USB lead as the receiver that sits on top of the telly when it comes down goes into like a splitter so you plug the other half of this lead into that and then splits out into one USB socket so basically you ain't plugging like having to plug two things in to get it to work which is a good thing really please drive straight ahead uh, and I say the other one is a is just a little bit of metal with three little prongs on where you've got three little lights here this has got like a prong gear prong gear and a prong at the top um, again it is good, um, but I'd rather have the one I'm wearing now. It's more stable because uh, you like that a little bit, like with the one that's on your head. Again, that's for me. It's because I'm not farther back uh, from the receiver yet. So if you can imagine the beam of light, I'm gonna let me get back on the straight and I'll show you. And take my hands off the steering wheel when I'm on the straight. Just so not to have one. If you can imagine the rays of light going out like that, yeah, well, I just just about fit in that bit. But it, great with the uh, pro version on, but with the clip one, I need to be farther back. So I've got to wait till I've moved everything up to the top of my room and up and push my rig back uh, and have the clip working perfect again. It, it's sunny for me when I don't feel like coming on and uh, talking or sometimes I just want to sit and drive so you'll see sometimes the stream will say um, track IR clip that means I'm wearing the clip and I've got no microphone so yeah because I'm being ignorant it's just sometimes you don't want to be sitting there like now for like over two hours with a set of headphones on that's in to get hot. These, I'm not saying I've got a big pair of ears, but the, the cups pinch me ear holes. So, at least with a cap on, I can, I'm more freely, but I've got no way of communicating with people. Oh God, that's a nice red sky. And that's using traffic mod uh, traffic mod the weather mod that I've got in at the moment yeah which is the brutal weather and I think it's by Cass spelled K A double S it might be so don't quote me on that because there's a few I use that many 
or have done use that many different weather mods over the period of the last couple Turn of months right forget who makes what Please turn right. Now it's good doing trips like this. It does get a bit long though, to be fair. I didn't realise this was going to be... As long as it is. Now where's these going? No. He's crashed into that. Wonder what was happening. I expected that to bounce me everywhere. Like a bit of a rumble strip, but it hey, it's nothing. It's just a pretty coloured thingy in the road. But I slowed down just in case it wasn't. As there's nothing worse than going over the speed, which I am slightly now. Again, it's changed to 56 now anyway, so I don't have to worry. What my concern is now, well, it's no good anyway because I'm going back into one lane traffic. Is one of these deciding to cut me up, as they do. Again, another destination. Discovered. I'm so glad to get my uh, other wheel back. Supposed to be representing a dam. Please drive straight ahead. I'll go and fill up with some diesel to make sure that we don't run out on our journey. I think there was a petrol pump here for me there. Couldn't see it was the one in the middle. And as we see, the old petrol pump going up. Um. And I can do 1,000. So according to that, I could do the whole trip now on that one uh, amount of fuel. So we'll have a look, shall we? Right, bear with me because I just want to do this. Because I don't think my YouTube is updating. As it should be, it is. Oh, well. One hour fifty seven left to do. Lads are mad at work. Set out that finish by the time I come back down this road again. <laughs> we hope. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they... I think them just... That will always be there. Now, this is something I don't know why this group's doing this. But every time I make an alteration, this bloody app moves. So, anybody out there knows why, here's a shout. Let us know. 
it's a pain. But I wish I could find an app like that that would give me my uh, text chat. Yeah. So basically, I could type in a URL, which of course is the YouTube one, which we're on now, and have the chat here, just like that, but on my screen as I'm watching it. Please use the left lane, then turn left. Because that will now would be perfect, yeah? I could turn off my other screen, so it's Please less electric. Turn left. I wouldn't have to crash. Or oh, there's less possibility of me of crashing. Because I ain't looking at a, a second screen. Oh, trust me to have bumpy roads now for the next hour long. Look at the views, eh? Who minds a few cracks in the road? Not me. As the cushion keeps pop, 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 popping. <laughs> you won't hear it now, though. Well, I don't think you will. Due to the fact of uh, using this RTX app for the audio. It should cut out uh, background noise. So, it says it works, and it, I mean, I have tried it. You can tap on a keyboard and nothing happens, so if it can put out uh, keyboard noises, then it put out anything. Anyway, it's just coming up for ten past nine here on this Saturday night, and you got a full tank of gas, you got a bumpy road again, bloody hell. More potholes and everything down this section of the road. Now I wish I knowed what part of the country I was in or what part of this map mod combo I'm in now. You know, like what region? Yeah, because so many places have got like regions like Russia map, row extended stuff like that. So I don't even know what part of the world I'm in. Now, that's a nice touch by Pro Mods. Is when I drive through parts of their Numa, oi, it tells me. So, if I go from one country to another, say I'll go from Germany into France, when I hit France, it'll, it'll say France. So, I know I'm now in France, which is a good thing, really. It'd be a good thing. I know how I would do it because these are modified maps, but it would be nice if. Some way through the game, just for a second, it pop up. You are now at, or you are now in, certain country, yeah. But in English or whatever language you speak, yeah. Because even that don't tell me. Are they telling me where I'm going? Well, it does, but again, it's in foreign. And there's no way I'm going to try and translate that. Oh, I'm going up hill. That motorbike is trying to overtake me. Now that gets me. He's on a motorbike and could easily overtake me. Not a problem. Go on then. There's no way you can go around here. Fast, fast, fast. I'm already going faster than I should be. Now this test your driving skills, I tell you lads. And lasses, just in case there's any females watching. We'll be sexist in this world now, and this is a turn and all. I'm gonna come down to fifth gear for this one. Because this is a full 900 degree rotation nearly of the wheel. Just to get round that corner. 
But again, sounds like that for me now, eh? Nothing new, yeah? Might be a bit daunting for people that have just started out playing the game. But I say to these people that have just started, give yourself six months, probably even that, less than that, and you'll be tackling any roads on these games. And again, because of them modified maps, you never know what you're going to expect, yeah? Because these maps are full of little surprises. Again, same kind of turn, but the other way now. I'll just cut the grass a little bit. It's not to be helped though with our uh, steep that turn, and we've got some uneven texture thrown into the mix. Hey, hey, what more can I blow a gas for? We get round. Some kind of mountain region. Now then we're going. Um, now we've gone up. Now we're going back down again. So we've gone up the hill. Now we're going down a decline. All right, trying to not put that corner this time. I take it a wide berth, as I say. Hopefully that should be the end of that hill climbs. I think it could be, I don't know. Uneven road again. Ha 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 ha. the windows of it. Yeah, my mic's probably picking that up. As well as. So. I shut the windows a bit. Am I right for diesel? Oh, speed's gone back up. It's me still doing 25 mile an hour. In a 43 zone. I don't know why I've got them green lights on for. No, them as well. And it's 20 to 9 in the morning. And 16 minutes past nine here at night on this Saturday. Ah. 
Now if I can make up a bit of time with this journey, I'm going to try to. So on parts where it's a bit quiet, like this road, I'm going to put my foot down a bit. Now, as of late, it says I'm going to be finishing this stream at 6 minutes past 11 tonight. So if I can get this deliver or delivery delivered quicker, the better. I should drive slow where I need to, but if I don't need to, then I'm putting my foot down. But I seriously don't think it's making much difference with the clock. As I can see that time coming down anyway. I think that's what the time is. But again, that was a different uh, time than I originally started yet. Yeah? Like, I've started a stream. I think I've done a thousand miles on Twitch. That's where they started this journey. I went back earlier on tonight and did another hour. And I thought, you know what, I might as well go and finish the last bit of this journey over on YouTube. And I've come on here on both channels and toilet tonight. So you almost be out in the garden doing something. I've never known the uh, platform so so quiet. And there comes a drop of rain.
please drive straight ahead.
return right soon. Please turn right. Please drive straight ahead. Calculate route. Recalculate route.
Please turn left. Please drive straight ahead. Route calculated.
Take the second exit of the roundabout. Please take the exit. Please drive straight ahead. Please drive straight ahead. Recalculate route.
Please use the left lane, then turn left. Please turn left.
Turn right soon. Please turn right.
Please use the right lane. Then take the right exit. Please take the right exit. Please use the left lane, then turn left. Please turn left. Please use the right lane, then turn right. Recalculate route. Recalculate route.
Medic in truck. He's not got that DLC. I know you've got it in Euro. You bought it. All right, Shrek. I'm all right. I'm just fucking got saying that. Volume Hello, comes. Russ. All right, son. You need to get in if you've got a muddy cheek for American, for fuck's sake. Um, don't think I have. Anyway, I'm live on YouTube, by the way. I thought I'd come in and say hello. Well, I'm actually hello, streaming. <laughs> Double echo, probably. Just sitting here. Right, let's just bring the game down. Oh dear. So, you, what you're doing? I'm in American. I'm, just I'm delivering one of them special cargo, you know, with the police escorts. Oh. Yeah, I'll just uh, put the mods on and everything and just do driving. Yeah, I'll just give him all job. the map mods, uh, Russ. Oh, cool. Um, I've just done a, th well, I'm in ending a 3,000 mile trip. Jeez, it took some time. You know what I mean? I've done a thousand mile on YouTube. Uh, sorry, I've done a thousand mile on Twitch. And then I did another thousand mile. No, sorry, about 800 mile. And I thought, you know, I'll just finish the last hundred mile. Or a uh, thousand and odd mile on uh, YouTube. But YouTube's dead. Nobody's about. I've, I've done uh, a thousand and an eight hundred, so I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, I've just said that on the stream, like, once everything gets up and running, like with the uh, Truckers MP and that, you, bro, you'll love, mate, you'll love doing them kind of convoys with me and Mark. Yeah, definitely. Now I'm getting into it. You will do. I mean, at the end of the day. I'm just saying it on my stream. It does take time, but like yeah. you know, you know your limits. You allow exactly where the bars to turn the wheel, and you know. I mean, I've drove most of this journey properly, and then I thought, you know what? I'm sitting here doing 32 mile an hour in the road. There's no cars. There's no nothing. I'm out in the back straight. You know. So I said on the street, when I not put my foot down. I'm putting my foot down, and that's what I've done. Just making sure I can hear you too. I'm just buying me some gas. I ain't got a clue where I am. I don't, I don't even know where I am in the world. I'm Let's have a look. I'm going through a border here, so. He's going to Mexico in. Let's see. Uh, well, That's let me have a look at the map. America. I tell you oh, what, I, I, was in, I, was in, I was in Russia last night. Fucking hell, the roads are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to go on this one? I ain't out. I don't know where off top. Oh, hold on, where did I go from? See, you and Mark, I put the old map in that one back. Uh, created, yeah. Right, well, on one of the places, it's spelt A-R-A-L-S-K, right? And I took a job from there to, hold on, where did I go? Spelt A-T-Y-R-A-U, and I ain't joking. Oh, sorry, I'll tell a lot, it's called A-K-T-A-U, yeah? Now, I'm sure that's in Katastan. Right, if you're looking on the map, and I ain't joking. Bounce, it's on the. Hey, eh? I'm moving a house. <laughs> I swear to God, it's the prefab house pre-built. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm moving in ATS now. Oh, is, that under, is that under cargo? That. Yeah, you special cargoes, eh? You've not got the special cargoes for American. You've only got them in Euro. Alright. It's worth just going buying all the DLCs, eh? I've got them out now and then you're done, eh? I mean, uh, what does it cost you about 25 quid? Something like that? Well, I, have, if that? I, I have got I've got them all now, I think, <clears> from the ones that haven't been released. Oh. No, well, yeah, maps, you've not got the fucking special cargoes for American. No, do you have to buy them on Steam? Yep. yep. I just need pointing out. Cause I, There's three of them. Tells you, though. Cargo, you heavy cargo and the forest one, isn't it, Russ? Oh, uh, the, oh the lumberjacky kind of ship. Well, I say, bro, once you've got them, mate, yep, Tim, you landed. I'm sorry, I took this fucking job. They've gone the most bendiest fucking bastard roads ever. Right, yeah, I've seen nothing. I've, I've definitely got to get track IR. Yeah. It's terrible, this fucking using my pad to control. Yep. Left I know. Right. Yep, it is a. Uh... But what size? Oh, see. Yeah, get track IR, mate, dog, who don't tell me you're tracking it. That... Yeah. Yeah, you'd never configured it. Because it is cheaper, but again, 
Oh, so I did go and get your VR headset. Don't play long in VR, mate. You'll find out yourself. I played for two hours, mate, and that my eyes were hurting. Well, I played what I played tonight. Um, what am I coming up for now? I've got to be coming up for. I'm doing one hour fifty four minutes already on YouTube now. Well, you'll see, mate, when you get a VR. So I've done about three. I've done about three hours tonight. In total. Um. Fucking now, this is one bendy fucking road. <laughs> Uh, what, what, yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What's the lights on? Uh, didn't work, did they? So uh, I had to drive in pitch blackness. Oh. Save, save the game though, because I, I ended up crashing because it was now it was no light. You need light. to take that out, that mod. It did the same to me. Which one's that one? The one that makes the light okay. Brighter, you mean? Uh, brighter, yeah, but it's shit. I uh, I'm gonna tell you that. Version that works better. He yeah. needs that. Yeah, Which, it, it who's that boy? I can't remember at the moment. Mark, you got what? Oh, for a euro. Yes, and he made you know like the the traffic lights like sparkle, fucking weird. Oh. And they were horrible. Well, it sometimes it didn't. It also stopped the fucking lights working on your cab. Right. It in, in, in the t interior, but it wouldn't put the lights on. Right. Well, I noticed, see, I've got that one for um, brighter reverse lights. And that, I, could, I got to a destination, I couldn't reverse, I couldn't see it. And I thought, fucking mod up. You know what I mean? I knew right away that mod had overwritten the other one. So I, 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 I paused the game, come out of it, went back, and then I got like, me, me really bright, you know, reverse lights, because you need them, don't you? Sometimes. Okay. Right, then that's another garage boat purchased. How many got? How long have I got to drive? 800. Oh, well. I mean, you, you, you won't regret it, will you? No, you can't, I can't get it any. Uh, it's all. You've got to get it for 179 from the official place. Well, that bloke, are you? you got to get it from that bloke who, who sells it, who does the planes. Well, I, I tried to. Look for it in a different way, and I can't, You well, mate? No, you well. He's the only. He's the only. If you go to Track IR's website properly, he's the only distributor here in the UK. Official. Yeah. So you know, for for the arsing and bat, trying to find it on on uh, eBay, uh, eBay and Amazon. Bro, you away, mate? None of them had it. None of them. No. They only had, they only had two out of the three things. Yep. It ain't worth the hassle, mate. I mean, that bloke, whoever it is, who's the stockist, if you put it off him, he'll send you an email to say he's received the payment. He'll then send you an email to say it's on its way. And then a couple of days later, he'll send you an email asking if everything was okay. So, you know what I mean? He's yeah, genuine. Yeah. Did the delay go, Russ, now because of the corona? Three well, four weeks. oh, Christ. That's everything though, I eat. I mean, you know, we get that, you know, with your VR. I don't know. Have you heard anything from that? Have they sent you anything back? Not yet, no. Yeah, well, what's, what do you mean? It's the same place, DHL, that we're bringing it. That uh, I, I put a complaint into Amazon saying. All right. uh, yeah, well, they've got to the third year, so next Friday or something. But I had the lead in the end, I got a refund and got the lead. It took ages though. Aye. Well I've got is it DPP? DH. Oh, oh well I've got them really good. Oh well I've got them picking up my wheel on, on the twenty six. All yeah. I've got to do is box up the 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 hub. They've even got the labels for me to stick on, or they'll stick them on. And then it will go back to uh, apparently a Fanatec warehouse or repair place here in the UK. It's even going back to Germany. So, and I know what they've got to do as well. Uh, apparently, there's 10 pins, right? Please turn right. And the Fanatec wheel, they'll use all 10. Please so use the right lane. They'll probably just and turn right. either put a new spool in, what they call a spool, or Please turn right. they'll actually just take a pin out. Take out the bomb that's broke, push another one through, glue it, 
Because they, 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 they just glue the things all together without glue. They can't do that, Russ. Got they do. Now, now they do. You're going, I've, I've, I've Googled it. I've actually Googled it. Them glued together. All the pins, I'm glued. You know, like a, you know, like the glue what we used to have at school. Yeah. Like clear glue, but you can buy a glue gun. So rather than they got a glue gun and then they've got shrink wrap heat stuff around the pins. No wonder they break. <clears throat> Mate, I've just gone one with a bat right goose three lane. mile an hour. Aye. Please turn right. Well, well, no. In the pins, right, bro? It's on a like it's on like a, a spool, right? So you got the pins on a piece of plastic, and then after the pins, there's a load. When they take off the heat sink, it's just glue, right? It's just glue that glues them in. And then they put the heat shrink round that, and that goes to a little piece of wire with a little plastic thing that fits onto the circuit board, and that's what it is. So the pins, when you're quick releasing the wheels, you pull the, the, the release towards you, which releases it from the actual unit. And then pins, they must be that brittle. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. It's not for, for a well-known brand, they don't yeah. seem to be well-made. No, they ain't. Well, the, the gear sticks all keeps changing different fucking gears. I mean, I'll go from first, I can go into second, third, and then she'll go back into second, even though I'm, I'm, I'm putting it into fourth. That's another thing now with shoes. I mean, I'm doing that now, and it's going into bloody second rather than third. I don't know. I don't have that trouble with my little <laughs> pound fucking weight. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Ex mate, that's my, that's my thing. I mean, I had less... Okay, I did have that problem with... Um, what you call it? My Logitech. Uh, uh, but you know what I mean? You don't, I don't expect to get all these issues. You know, that's why I bought the bloody thing to make sure it worked properly. But hey. And they will not give you a, a replacement if it can be repaired. Hey? How good is that? Well, no, it's a good actually. Anyway, I don't care. They'll sort it. I'll make sure they'll sort it. You know me, if they don't sort it, I'll just go on the slag them off. Alright? Power of the internet, mate. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah? Yeah. And I, you know, like I was with that you play, bro. I'd have gone absolutely ballistic if that had happened to me. Do you ever hear anything off that? No. Nope. Yeah, I would have done. I'd have gone everywhere. Videos, social media. I'd have made sure they sorted that out for me. Right? Did they ever give you the money back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they give you the money back then. Well, that's a half decent thing. But that's, you know, to say you hadn't done nothing wrong. I mean, like me, sat here, it would be about summer to four of the morning, playing Euro, buff, no connection to my wheel at all. And again, at the time, I'd I realised that the pins had broke, yeah, or a pin had broke. So I took the wheel off. By that time, that pin had broke off inside the wheel, or inside the base. So when I stuck the F1 wheel on, it pushed the pin straight through. Which it would do. Everything loaded up. Because you have like a little red light on with like four little segments. So when it loads up, it goes one, two, three, four, and then it goes bing and everything works, yeah? Yeah. So I'm thinking, well that's alright. So I took a quick release off the F1 wheel. Done the the universal hub. And all it was doing was flashing around the four segments. So it's going red off, next one off, red one off, and nothing. No force feedback, no, no, nothing wouldn't register. Because on the Universal Hub, you've got like a little meter. So when I change gear, it shows like gear one, two, three, and four. But you need the Universal Hub to make sure that everything else can get changed, like your gear settings and everything. It's all controlled by this Universal Hub. So without one, you're, you're buggered. Any road. So I text the wheel off again. Puts the F1 on, it works fine, and then I just thought, let's have a look at these pins. I looked at the pin, and one of them's missing. 
So that's when I've started emailing them, about something, to, something past four of the morning. And about eight, nine emails later, they've actually sorted it, but they wanted the base back. But I could get it off. I could get it off the desk, so I'm having just the, the universal love. And that's all I'm having. I like Stefan. Hello, my friend. Good evening, Stefan. How are you, mate? Oh, dear. Sounds of problem, mate. I warn you now, I'm live on YouTube, by the way, because I'm streaming. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Avery Little Captain. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if it'll pick you up, to be fair. It's my audios. I've brought all the noise down in my cab to like virtually nothing so I can still have a conversation with you guys. <laughs> and I've still got 800, and 800 miles still left to drive. Jeez. Must be gluttons for punishment, haven't we? Where's the cunt? Uh, 57 minutes I've still got to drive in real time. Just over an hour. Stop. Hello, Belen. How are you? I'm alright, lad. I'm alright. Even to see somebody. Have you been working? I've been working. All that shit. Yeah. Same stuff. Same stuff. <coughs> What's that swear word? Work? I ain't worked for the last 12 weeks. Oh, dear. I'd love to go back to work. <laughs> what is it now? What is this little officer or fucking sign? Why can't they play fucking game with There you go. Why can't no one play fucking game with work properly? Again, cloud not established connection. Fuck off. Fuck off. Right off you balance. You were right, Mark, by the way. I'm always right. Man. I've got my job, Mark. It will map now at the bottom. Yeah. have to do the first job. <coughs> you need that naughty little program that gives you lots of money. Well, I have downloaded one, uh, but I'm not for it Does it mean yet. it's going to work? No, no I, don't I don't know if mine works. Well, I don't know where it is in the stack I've got to put it. Uh, uh, normally at the top. All these kind of stuff, bro, go at the top. And if it crashes, then you move it down. But of course, say uh, you've got a load of of stuff already in, have you really? To be fair, unless your brother's told yeah, you with everything. Yeah, I've got shitloads. That's what I'm saying. Yep, yep. You have looked after him then and get him everything that we normally have. Yeah. yeah. Is that for uh, American? Yeah. Yeah. And Euro. Oh, he's got everything in Euro now. Yeah, but he's not activated that yet. I got weird actions on my cars. They keep going off the road. Them, them following paths that I can see. You know what I mean? <laughs> my cars just I, 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 earlier on, a car was floating in the middle of the sky. It went up as if it was going over a bridge, but the water bridge there. I was like, okay, the cars are flying. <laughs> it's just, it's must have these maps eight, and it must be the jazzy cat packs. I don't know. Oh, Everything else is working now. Oh shit, mate. Bouncing around like that. Don't fucking join properly. Aye. Aye. Well, he done another update there. Um, there's another Jazzy Cat. No, Jazzy Cat. Bloody hell, I've got Jazzy Cat on the brain. Bloody oh, one, one, one. Come on. It's incompatible, that one I've just got. Well, just ma yeah, it just makes sure. It just. No, no, if you give me a sec, bro. If you give me a sec, bro, yeah. Give me a sec, bro. Well, that me. If you, I'm you stopping on a bit, or? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I might, might have trouble. No, it's, yeah, it's some bastard has to go. You know what I mean? A fucking seven <laughs> on a Sunday. Ah, well, I. Oh, that boy, oh, that violin's getting smaller and smaller. Nah, no, man, he's joking, mucker. Somebody's got to keep the country going. Aye. Mm. Uh, the way. Well, my two jobs are either one I'm going to take forever to go back because you could be doing now photography, although there's a bit of social distancing between that. But as for, as for the football, you can forget that, go yeah. And me for the swimming pool. Well, that's it, are you? 
Oh. Huh? Turn right I'm, soon. I'm, we're all right, Paul, until October. But I'm still 350 pounds down. No. Well, I don't get no money at Please all. Please turn right. But I've got no way. I've got no income coming in at all. So I'm going to be the. Um, hello, Mr. Government. Remember me. Come on, keep me fucking going. You can edit this out, Mark. You're all right. Oh, it's live. Oh, it's live. <laughs> That's what I said. We're live on YouTube. Right. And I've actually got my boat race. There's nobody watching more shit anyway. And if they do, well, you know, welcome to my YouTube channel. Everything's being recorded tonight. No YouTube viewers, no, no Twitch viewers. And I put feeds out. Oh, it's saying I'm now live. And you're right. Joe Rogan's moved to fucking Spotify, that's why. Hey? Joe Rogan's moved to Spotify, that's why. Spotify? Yeah. That's a music channel? No, that's video as well. Be called Game on Spotify. Yeah. Nah. Streaming channel, it's gonna have to do with the gaming. Oh, well. Joe and you're right. Yeah. Who's Joe Rogan? Fuck. Oh, I don't fucking know. He's only the highest paid dude that interviews cunts on fucking YouTube. Still don't know him. Don't worry, but he also comments, commentates on the UFC. Take Still the don't know him. The roundabout. And you're right, these mods took the lights out. There's no lights on the... I've got lights on my truck, but they've got no lights on then. I've got, I'm behind a truck and it's got no lights on. That's good. Please take the exit. Could be a mod failure, that for us. That could be that one what you said with the lights. No, never had it's only your lights that don't go on. Oh, I'm in you, Ralph. Yes, and it's only your lights that don't go on. The rest do. Oh. I've never noticed their lights not being on. It was only mine. I got, I got well, rid I've of never, it. Well, I've never. Well, I'm going to get rid of it when I get a chance. If I, cause I've got Tucky up working, you see. So it's displaying where I am, what I'm, the time in my car going shit. Brian needs that Hemel bollocks as well, the one at the top. The what? Hemel, it's the fucking thing you use on the top of the screen. <coughs> Alright, I'll sort them out with that. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. I think it's that one. Oh, fine. I don't know if that's him. I think that's in my Steam. I know, son, I know. I'll sort him out with that. I can't believe I'm still doing the job, it's fucking nothing. Where's this cunt taking me around in fast back circles? <laughs> this job is fucking like shit on the map. And I'm still not even halfway there, what the fuck? That's no, like me, I've still got 52 minutes to drive. I'm going to finish my stream at, 20, uh, at quarter to 12. I'll be going fucking right round till fucking God knows what bastard time. <laughs> Well, I tried to speed up. I'm supposed to be doing 56 mile an hour. I can't see well, nothing in front of me. This is 13 miles to go, and it's going to take 37 real minutes. How do you know that? Tells you. Well, the actual software tells you that. The trip. Well, I can you see from American? American don't tell you that. Not in real, real time. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ow. On the fucking thingy. <laughs> no, I'm joking, mate. I'm winding your car out. But mine does. Mine does. Cause I mean, it's, yeah, you, because you've got the, that fucking that truck. Truck that truck app's brilliant. It's got the real time as in what time it is now. So it's like, what? 10 to... 10 to... Well, 8 minutes to 11. Right? Then it's telling me what all I've got, truck-wise. And then at the bottom, where it says navigation, it gives me my miles. How many minutes and what time, you know, depending on if I keep to the speed, if I go slower, then the time goes up. So according to this now, it's going to be um, 11.43 by the time I've, I've jumped this trailer off. That's in real time. It's good, eh? So if I go faster, if I can, bring that time down. Oh, well, do you fucking get on some of these motorways? But it's pissing down, my game's pissing down the rain at the moment. No, 
Mine's not ranged yet, thankful. Oh, mine has. Where are you Ranged a few. Yeah, I'm in your row up. But I don't mind because the thunder and lightning's loud. And I've turned all my sounds down to come into team speak, like. And it's still loud. I love the I love the thunder and lightning in this. It's really It's a brutal one, isn't it? Yeah. Hold you laps loudly. The only thing I don't like it makes the game too dark at the night. It makes it pure that's why I call wait till I get a VR headset. So I can get rid of it all. You need that new headlight map on. Well that's what I'm saying oh. You'll have to give me the name of it before you go to bed. It makes your lights a lot better, a lot longer to go out and not light up. Oh well, don't forget before you go to bed. Oh. Have you found that on Steam? Can't remember me. And as I'm in fucking America, I want to get this job done. I'll stay until you get this job and I'll tell you. Alright, well, whatever you do, do your job. And then post a link in TeamSpeak or say in Facebook, or you know, so I can go and pick it up. If you say that, because I'll stream through the night, though, when I've done this job, I'll send me a cup of say and uh, start another stream. Oh, I've had a lot as well. <coughs> Auto Mobilista. Oh, we've had a new update, all force feedback settings, AI cars. You see the car? Oh, it rammed into me. I was like, yeah. I mean, fucking real. <laughs> he played, honest to God, he totally told me. And I will go in fact. Oh, well, you can see on the video, I'm going slow as anything. He was like, no, see you, mate. That ain't can right yet. Nope. I mean, it, it feels, it, it plays a bit like Project Cars. Please use the left lane. But feels like a set of course of competition. You know how like you go over the rumble strips and sometimes you can throw you. Yeah. It, but that's how that feels. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of both of them. You know the AI is still the best. Fuck it, I'm on. I'll keep up with it. And ah, uh, yeah, one you're on about, I know. Yeah, they never crash into you, never. never. Well, these they'll really look. They don't know what red lights mean or bright lights. They do. It's just gone foggy in my game. Yeah. I oh, know, or I imagine, mate. Well, that's it. I mean, I wish I'd got VR now because I'd be sitting and, you know, because I've seen people where they put, like, if they use a second screen, they put that to the side of them, actually in the game itself, though they're in the VR headset. So they basically get that second screen in their view so they can re. I could turn off the second monitor. But I'd still see it through the VR, and I could read me comments. What do you get though? Just pick it up in, in the screen. It's flat. Hey? What you see on the screen, if you stream, you know what I mean? It's totally different from how you fucking. Yeah, I know, but at least I could see. Now, what I'm trying to say is, I could find an app or an overlay to put stuff on my screen, i.e., text, yeah? Yeah. But I've seen people. Where they'll put that, say YouTube text or Twitch checks in their VR headset, yeah? So basically, they can see what people are saying when they're wearing the VR headset. You do through Steam. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like having a virtual, like, a dome round a mate. Yeah? So they put the game in the middle, it's left to them that second screen, which would be original second screen. <coughs> I think it's basically so you ain't got to keep taking the headset off and on, mate. When you do it in, it in just with one application on like the headset. Steam gives you a virtual desktop, mate. That's what I mean, oh. Where you can click between any, as many monitors as you want. My three shot there, so you do, in VR, in the room that you are, you just click the fuck you want, and it changes to the screen. Got you. And then you see your Steam on in VR, <laughs> and you click the game. Right. I don't mind that, as long as I can see, you know, like say, I can read my text as I'm driving. Because Mark Armstrong was doing it one night, he got like his second monitor in VR to the left of him. Then he got his game and something else, but it was all on the sort of like the one get M screen, yeah? 
or, or basically just showing all through his VR, which is brilliant. Because I've really gone into looking for overlays. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna contact these people who met this uh, truck here, and I'm gonna ask them if they've got an overlay app similar to this that can tech scream you know like <coughs> type a URL in and then display that like how they overlay this this um truck here. Because if they did, I, w I could just turn off the second screen. You yeah, know, I don't want to see on, on your main, well, in VR on your screen. All on my telly now. I don't mind having, you know, so like I've got a trucky app in the left, right corner, and that's streaming that out to people. So they can, people who are watching this or after, can actually see how long I've got, where I've gone, how much damage, whatever. And I could have the, you know, when people are commenting on the left side. But I can't find an overlay that does it, even the one that Twitch. Do you do the same thing as like as you do with track IR, go forwards yeah, and backwards? The call around and everything. Hey? It's real though. The view's much better, much more realistic. The Amazing. View. How was the quality? It's all right. It's not fantastic, but it's all right, mate. You'll see. You're too blown away by what you're seeing. I mean, it's got to be some decent quality, eh? Right? I mean, it could be crap, crap. Not as good as what you're used to, put it that way. I know, but like you'll say, you're actually in the game, are you? Rather than... Yeah, and that's what, that's what blows you away. You're too <clears> busy <throat> thinking, fuck. Oh, my God. You sat in the cab. Because I've done it in all, you know, all my racing games are tried and, and American and your own, it's like, fuck you know. <laughs> Is it a bit like on the same principle with like, track IR, when you centre it? You centre it and it... No? It follows your head completely, you don't have to centre nothing. Because it's on your eyes perfectly. Oh, oh, perfect. oh Christ. There's no fucking around or, or messing with this, dodge or anything. See, because what I notice with track IR, right you know, right. like you get that pitch. So you get like, if I click centre, the truck is never level. Turn yeah, right. it always seems like it's over on like a 45 degree, and like an angle. You know, like the window with all you got, like the buttons. They are buttons in real life, but they look, they are, if, if you can press them, yeah? Just past the mirror. You know what I'm on about, yeah? That never looks flat. That never, I can never get that flat. So I was all sitting in a flat truck, yeah? I don't understand why not. Well, I'm doing it now. And if I look, I look out the window and I've got half the back of the bloody cab and then the bit of the window, yeah? I've pulled the chair mega forward and then it all look right because I'm stuck up against the steering wheel. So I'm thinking, is that because of the game and the seating position? Or is it better when you're in VR to do I don't know. Got to wait, eh? Yeah, I'm going to be the guinea pig for VR to look and get myself one. <laughs> we'll have to knock a stream out. Just to show me. You can't see VR on the fucking stream. Right. I can't see what you see, but at least you can have a... You can... You do it. It's out oh, because when I was watching that kid from America who used the rift, you can tell he are using VR. Yeah, it's just the way he feels. It looks it looks totally different from me sat here in, in track IR. That's why I knew it, even though he did say on his description I'm you know I'm using VR. You can just tell it looks totally different. So and with that level it's, it's something to do with the bevel, you know, like the, the pitch in that. Pitch in the yawn. Hey? Just it fuck off. Gone green. Hitting enter. Nope. Oh, sorry, I had to drop the trailer. I've had the cars, the police cars crash. Excellent. You know, when you do them sometimes and the police cars, they'll react. 
You're the one that leading you. I've done quite a few. Not again. Now I've now I've done it properly. We come to one place once. I come off on the motorway, and there was a crash. So of course the police car wouldn't drive round the crash. The cars wouldn't spawn and bugger off. So I had to restart the game for it to carry on. Because what I did, I just I just drove off, leaving the police car there. <laughs> I'll just finish the job on my own. Oh, come up. I do, you know, as if so I've left the police car. Yeah. So it takes you back to this safe, a, a part in the game, what's safe, where you'd have the accident or whatever. And that's what it did. And I'm afraid, mate, it's, it's not in Steam. It's called AI Euro T2. Right, copy it down, name wise. Find it in your stack. And copy it down and, and paste that in my Facebook, yeah, please. And I'll get that when I've, I've come off here, if you don't mind. I'll find it as long as I can, I can find it. Hmm? It's probably on that site where we've been getting stuff from from the last couple of weeks with the 136, 135, 137 versions, probably. Eh? That's exactly what it's called. And that got into my Facebook, yeah? Yep. Oh, mate, I've just said that on my other screen. Oh, mate. I'll have a look after. It's way better as well. Well, he did, who you, you told me to get before, which I have got in. Um, he done a weather map, weather one, and that was shit. Oh, and a traffic one. Traffic, and that was crap, no. So. Well, that one was good. Well, I'll right, get in a wheel. As soon as you go through the city, you said put your lights on when it gets dark, you'll realise it's going down. Aye. Right. Especially the yeah. city lights, the glow lights, for, you know, the bright. Yep. Yeah. Well, it has it. I mean, you can't take nothing away from that brutal weather, but when he's, when it goes dark, it goes dark, no it. And you can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. Yeah, but that darkness is your HDR on your fucking TV. Aye. Well, you know, play, our four play HDR games. This game's already got HDR in without even setting your telly to HDR. Because if I send the telly, if I go to that setting and go to Microsoft and say HDR, I have loads of problems. Oh, I'll, I'll stop setting that. I call, um, I mean, it's like with the Division 2, that will not even let me play it if I've set the, the Microsoft to yeah. HDR. I don't play that on that monitor anyway on my TV. Aye. There's a new upgrade by the way coming you all need to get new shit. Man, I never you even got the last shit. Well, the division new, all new yeah. shit coming. Well, I've installed the BTS. You can, it's on the, the technicals new server basically. You can play the new version of the division. What do you mean new version? New BTS. shit. Yeah, it's called the BTS version. New uh, named items. Hang on, hang on. Uh, it's just it's the same game, but it's just the triangle, new stuff they're going to bring out in the packs 10. Oh. So, uh, four new exotics. Oh, two angle, uh, one angle, two. Uh, Please use the right lane, then take the right uh, exit. Different named items and uh, new uh, gear and that. Please take the right exit. I'll have to come in with you guys when you play that next time. Because I never got off the other shit, did I? Yeah, you need to, Russ. Well, you say that. I mean, I walk good enough to play it with you before, but I feel I'm good enough to play with you all now. You're always good. It doesn't matter. Tell him, Stefan. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I carry those two fuckers. I'm gonna carry you as well. <laughs> the thing being, mate, not talking shit neither. Oh dear. I think what it is is when you lot play it. I like to. I, I'm always been the same, Stefan. I like to have a nose around. And of course, when you lot, I'm like, okay, we got what we need. We're going to the next mission. I'm like, well, hold on. I don't know. These are things I need to collect, or you know. 
And I'll know half the time I'm never going to go back to these areas when I play it on my own. You will do. Anyway, Stefan, there's new loot, new gear, there's two new fucking... Uh, green ones. And yeah, what? Uh, yeah. Green ones? Yes, there's two I new fucking thing in my box, if not more. Yeah, it's all going to be shit, like always. Well, <laughs> no, they're supposed to have redone this and redone that. Well, that's all good. Though. I don't know, it's a good game, but I don't want to play it with, you know, the same you go shit. Put the DPS and you get one sniper shot in your face and you die. You and anyway. they, they need, like, how many? 50, man. Yeah, boy. I say what I like at the moment, and I play a lot when I'm on my own, is that plunder on um, Modern Warfare. It's where you collect the money. It's a like the, but the, but royal, oh, uh, battle royal eight. It's similar to it, but I do I like that. I mean, you ain't got to play. You can either play it on your own, so basically, yeah, I'm trying to make as much money as possible, or you can play it with like another three people they pick. I mean, I've I've got the I've I've won it on my own. Playing against under hundred other people. And I've got thirty-six minutes left to go. Jesus come on. I've never known a job takes a fucking long three thousand miles. I ain't done one of these for ages, but it's the only job that it would give me from this destination in uh Katistan. So I've got no choice, I've gotta do it, haven't I? Are you, are you not playing GTA then, Stefan? I am. What, as well as playing Bastard Guitar? Yeah. What? <laughs> if it blows, I played that Grand Theft Auto for absolutely years. I've got to have a go at that. Well, I've got to have a go at that. I played that for a couple of weeks. The uh, Red Dead Dimension, my cowboy lane, game. Then drive straight on. But that ain't more, that ain't like a game, it's more like a story, that is. Yep. Good graphics, Please though. Drive straight ahead. Not for me. It, it, you would, mate, you get into it, mate, you do. So, nah, not for me, I prefer multiplayer games. I was going to get that, we've got all my shit, shit. I bet you can play it with more, I could play it with you, and Broy and, and Stefan, you've got, you've got it. Online, use the left lane. I don't know. I'll, then drive straight on. I hate try the online bit. Yeah, I will do eventually. Please drive straight ahead. I've never, I've never into the first one. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Man, you have a horse. Please yeah, use the left lane. Yeah, like then yeah, drive so straight like on. If it's you want to give me a gun, give me a fucking helio. Please drive straight monster. ahead. I like oh. a bit of that on uh, the PS4 and that. You ride round and you shoot people. It's alright. I got it oh. given me. Well, I'll nick to train. <laughs> and I'm driving round the map on this big stream train on my own. Uh, it was funny, that was. But the graphics, oh, they blow you away. They really do. And the, and the video, you know, like the video modes where you can make the video. Because you can go into like cinematic mode. So you can either, especially when you're riding the horses, if you don't want to sit there riding it, you can press a button on the keyboard and you go into cinematic mode. So it sort of like makes it into a film for you. Right, right, yeah. It's good that. And then when you want to take back over, like, you just press, I think it's C on the keyboard. And it gives you, you know, sort of backing control of the horse. But I killed my horse the other week, last time I played it. I felt sorry I'd trained this horse, it was brilliant and whatever. And, and we went down this rock and I fell down the rock and I was on the horse and it killed the horse. So it was suffering, so I had to put a bullet to its head, I was so sad. <laughs> I had to shoot my own horse, it was suffering. So, it, you know, it, it's realistic enough and then I had to go to that town. There's one town where there's like where you can buy horses from, or you can shoot somebody and then you'll nick their horse and train it. Oh, it's a really good game. Please use the left lane. 
then drive straight Oh, on. man, you'd laugh. I'm sat there the other morning playing Battlefield 5. It'd be about half past four of the morning. Hmm? So I've done the first mission. Please drive straight ahead. Um, and you've got to go down different routes. Right. The, the, the actual bloke who's in the game is a real life person. You know that you know the um, Essex boys, yeah. Where that that they had that Pat Tate, who who played him in that in that film, he, he's in the game. It's a, I'll, I'll have to take a screenshot of his face. Sean, Sean Bean. It might be, the one that the one that was really the, in the one in the film where he slashed that kid with a pizza thing. Yeah, yeah. It was him. That character who plays him is in this game, right? It's his voice, it looks like him, but it's in, you know, cartoon, you know, like a PC game. Yeah. Well, he plays a, an army soldier in this game, in this Battlefield 5, in the story mode. And I hate joking, he gets shot, so he has to leave somebody called Bridger to do the mission. Well, Bridger's a bank robber. Um, anyway, I was playing it, so I'd done the, you've got three little things you've got to do. You've got to blow up one part. Stop you there. Alright, son. Oh my god, that's good enough. I am also, you know, some of us have to work fucking early in the morning. All fucking day, like I did today. Yeah, and all day today? Yeah. Fuck you. So, I'm going to bed and I'll see you tomorrow night. Alright, son. Thanks a lot, Mark. Alright, good night, God bless. See you, Arkin, and thanks for that link and all. I'll let you know how to get on. Nice to see you. Oh, you fucking coming. Look, it's quite a fast enough. Good night, I'm God bless. Sorry, Daniel Arkin. Ta-da, Arkin. User disconnected from your channel. Oh, dear. You'd think they'd give the days off, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would cool, can it? Nah. Bank holiday. I didn't even realise it was a bank holiday until bloody Fanatec told me. Right. Because I'd, plan I'd asked them to take the thing on the 20th. So how long, how long you took so long to pick it up, DVD? It's been broke a week, hasn't it? It's been broke nearly a fortnight now. Um, they sent me an email. I sent them an email. Then they put me through to sales. And sales said, like, give us a time, give us a date, and give us your address. So I did that. Within a couple of seconds, they sent me another email saying it's going to take seven days before we read the email. So, well, that's no good to me. By the time you read the email, the date I asked to come and pick the item up, they'll be passed. So I think I'd set it for the 20th. And they wouldn't have read the email till the 21st. So that's no good to me. So no. the email I had before that one, I emailed it, replied back to it and again and, and typed. At the end of the day, why have you got that? And, he, and, and this person, oh, it's automated email. And I says, look, just give me a time, a date, that's the address, and, you know. And then they says, we want the Please base. And, the I says, right can't, and I said to him, I then can't get the, the right base off exit. the rig. Because what it is, bro, the screws. I had trouble with them getting them on, yeah? And if I bossed, oh, Please if take I, the right you know, exit. anything happens, then I'm going to be in yeah. this shit, yeah? So... You know, I said to him, I made some shit up about, like, my son, make my son put it together for me. You know, <laughs> you got away, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, any road. I said, with this coronavirus on, uh, he welcome to me house to take it off. And uh, at the end of the day, I said to him, you know, you think, like, with all this going on, I don't want people undoing my stuff, which I do. Because when I have it back, I've got to disinfect it and it all. It's got to be wiped down. I don't know the fuck who's touching it. But they, they says no. If it's repairable, we don't replace it unless it's broke. Broke. That's the only way they'll re, they'll like, they'll re, they'll give me a new one. Right. Handy road. It's a it's a common thing. It's a and it's a something. Oh, oh, it's just happened. And they don't know. They know. It's a known thing where these pins break. But they don't fucking tell you that when you're buying it, do they? And, and you're paying three three hundred odd pound a time for their wheels. See the others. Please drive. The others, ahead. their information is sent via cables. Uh, there's something called Simub, or whatever it's called. Them wheels them like the direct, but them on cables. 
so there's no you know nothing to break basically but again you're paying a little bit more sim cube or summit or well, there's a Chinese company one again you probably wouldn't get it now with what's going on but it's a direct drive and it's supposed to be really good um, but again with, with the crown of Orison you wouldn't get it so I'm glad a day boy a bloody a, a Fanatec Deere you know like go for the direct drive imagine you're paying even more money in it breaking more like 1,600 just for the fucking base. I'm gutted. I mean, well, that hub is 300 and some odd pound. It's over 350 quid. And they know they've got you by the short and careless because that controls everything. You know. So without it, you know, like I can't configure my gear stick. So, you know, you can't do nothing. I could do no configuration with this F1 wheel because we tell you got the facilities. It's all on that. It's because it's being Xbox. It's compatible for Xbox as well as PC. What the fanatic? Yeah, I all could right. play on an Xbox. It's on the red circle. Oh. Red indicates it's for PC, but when you get it, if it's green, that's it's compatible now for an Xbox. Because when I had oh. one, I thought, hold oh, on. How do I get it to work on the PC? And I have to press two buttons on the on the wheel itself. Well, on this universal hub, as it's called. And when you do that, the round circle power on button turns to red. That then indicates wow. it's compatible with PC now, not uh, Xbox. But what a what a ball like that is. Mm. I mean, I've seen four videos on it. <clears throat> with people um, showing you what they'll do but you know have you uh, you got what's the F1 wheel is that another wheel separate it's just an F1 shape it's um mine's an F1 eSports by Fanatec so it's just it's it's still a, it's a Fanatec wheel but it's in the shape of an F1 style wheel so it's good now. F1 wheel. All right. I can use it. I mean, like I say, I can use my F1. But it's a like riding with a round wheel. If you know what I mean, yeah. Yeah. Did it's, you not get one of these uh, Logitech ones though? I've got a Logitech wheel. I've got it. I've still got my G920. But I've got to. If I want to use my Logitech, I've got to put that on this base, and I can't take the base unit off this rig. Yeah, I'd have to dismantle right. everything. Because that's on that rig like marks. You know, oh, yeah. like that apex thing. Yeah. Or, or go and put me, put that lot all back on my other computer. Which, the games are more, oh, now the games are on there. Oh, it's something I don't want to do. I don't want to be messing around. I could, you know, put the fat, uh, Logitech on. But... It's just our core setup. Like if the gear stick now, it's a bit sometimes hit and miss. Where when it gets like that, I go into the settings of the the, the gear stick and I yeah. reprogram the gear stick. Well, with this wheel, what I got on now, the F1, I call do, I call configure it because there's no way to even get into that menu unless you've got the hub. Right, right, yeah. Bastard things. All right, so I'm 25 minutes away in real time from destination. Yeah. You know that 300, that 3,000 miler? What, how long did it take you in real time, three hours? Um, literally, probably are. But I've done it over three streams, so I did, right. I started it last night in the early hours of the morning. I went from about, I don't know, 12 o'clock last night till about, two this morning um Tony goes up and play music on twitch and then i left it and then i went back to twitch tonight uh, and did another 800 mile and then this i thought the you know what i'll go i'll go on. to youtube and finish the last i think it was 1700 when i come to youtube Please tonight drive straight well, yeah. ahead. um and like I say, I've got 303 more left to do, which in real time, at the current speed I'm going, it's 23 minutes. 
But nobody's looked at me stream. Nobody. Oh, I'm gonna crash. I've just crashed. I did. I looked at it. Oh, I've just crashed. Fucking hell, how about that? Drove all that way and it's just crashed on me. <laughs> what game are you? Yeah, the other great. Now the game. Game's just crashed on me. I'm glad, yeah. really, because I'm going to put that. Crashed a few times on me. Oh, I'm going to go and find that thing what your brother said anyway. All right, load it up. I'll just leave the stream going. By the time somebody watches that, if nobody's watched it now, and I've been streaming two hours, 44 minutes, nobody's going to watch it anyway. So, I don't worry. Right, let's go and find this plugin, what your brother says. It's got to be here somewhere. Download Real Lights version 3. Oh, this, there it is. I've got it. <laughs> Two seconds, eight, when you you know what you're, you're getting. I am gonna kill someone. Oi, <laughs> oi, somebody's on the beer. Oh, yeah. Don't blame you, mate. I've got one can of Guinness left. You know what Guinness is. <laughs> it is shit. Guinness is lovely, man. It's good for you as oh, well. This one, this one here that I'm drinking. Well, I used to drink strong lager back in the day, but they stopped making. I used making... to drink strong beers, but now I drink like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks Stella. I used to drink that. Yeah. Oh, Stella. Stella. Uh, now, now, no, now I don't drink Stella, but I usually drink Stella. I drink nothing more like Stella. Don't know nothing about the Stella. I like the Corona, me. Oh. Like the, have you tried Corona beer? Yeah, of course, yeah. No way. That's the best beer you can ever get. They tried it. Just Corona. No, never heard of it. Corona. Oh, on. that one they're on about now. Corona. Corona beer. No, I Thank tried it. Best. Oh. You're fucking joking me <laughs> now. Mark's just said it's called that some real life version one through from it. Well, we've already got it. What's your brother on around about? Wait, Brian, he, he's joking that he never heard about Corona beer. <laughs> real? Yeah. Hold on. AE. Air lights, real version. He says we've already got it, so what's your bro on about here? Hold on, let's go into my mod folder. Look here, it's loaded up over the top of that. So, not that back. Uh, let's have a look at this mod. I, this I, is... managed, I managed to get a mod to work for money mod. Mark, I give me the right one. It's the same one as as he's, as he's already said. I call me the, he's giving me the wrong freaking name, hasn't he? Yeah. It just says it's 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 that one, and it's already the same one that was already in the game. So I don't know how, how that's working. I'll just put it up the top. We'll try it anyway. If it works, it works. If it don't, it'll be took out. <laughs> he just said, "Oh, it's that one. It's the same bloody name." <laughs> It is exactly the same one because, like, when you're trying to override the file, it's already in my mod folder. I don't know where he's got that one from. Oh well, I can try it in your own. It's a game. It's a good job I've only got a little bit left to do. I can end the stream talk, isn't it? Oh, that's if the bloody game loads up. Go on. Any time today. I'm sure we'll be picking another one like this, unless we meet like AL hey, Marx is in a convoy. It's too long. And I think it's crushed me again. Don't say it's crushed again. Yeah. Oh dear. Wrong. Root calculated. Root calculated, and I got my bloody track up on. That's gone off now again. How bad is that? Come on, Trucky app. Got loads of things for this Trucky app on.
Alt and G. No. Shit. Oh dear. Are you still in American, bro? I am, yeah, yeah. I've just finished the first job. Managed to get that uh, money map working. You do? I mean, you, you just have to have a nose around with some of these m mods. I, I, download, I downloaded another one. Oh, that worked. There's that. loads, to be fair. Would you say I'm in GTA, Stefan? Yeah. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I ain't played that for. Oh, Christ. What was it the last time? I put, you know what? It's been that long. I can't even remember what was new. I think it was more in the garages. That's how far I'm behind in that game. They just. I I, I, last time I played was when Casino went out and then I didn't play for a while. But uh, uh, more than well, well, in that game, I've still never done the career mode, the, the story mode yet. <laughs> what do you mean? In uh, Modern Warfare? Never done it. Never done it. Never finished it. You went in the house though. You did a bit of it. Cause that... I've done some of it. I mean, we... I've I, I done some of it. And you know, like, where you get that weird shit. When you go through the different characters. Um, again, I call yeah, I don't know. But it, that, oh, but it goes yeah. weird, doesn't it? Like, psychedelic -y shit. That used to throw me, so oh, fuck that. And anyway, Mark then says, like, you know, get online, we'll play this online. Um, and then somebody found somebody with a cheat and, you know, loads of money so you could buy all the cars, all the garages, all the other shit. Well, I would around that night when this person come on to do all that. And I never got into it. I wore a game in then, was I? As I am now. Now, I'm... Me there and every freaking way with games. Yeah. But, um. Uh, <coughs> come on, PC. I don't know why that crashed then. Right. I've hopefully filled up for the last time. I've now got. And it says seven hours and forty six, but it's a hey, that ain't a real time. That's just right. me. It says I've got seven hours forty six minutes left to drive, but that's like bullshit in the game, yeah. Yeah. Where that trucky app will work. See, because it's crashed, it will give me that come on my screen for some bloody reason. Right. Even though it should do. It will pop up again. Never mind. It won't take that long now to finish this off. Just want to hope that lights things work, what your brothers give us. Otherwise, I'm going on the lookout for another one. Because I bet he's just got sin there in his folder. Oh, that's it. Copied and pasted it, and I realise that it's the same one what we've already bloody got in. Please use what the light lane. Stop that. Then drive straight on. on. Did he? Oh, did he get you as well? Uh, yeah, but he didn't. Well, he please thought, drive he straight thought, ahead. Ah, he it just. One, I can't you. No. Right, he's just given me one, which we already had. Yeah, but which he yeah. says makes the towns and cities and our own lights a lot brighter yeah. when we're driving of a night. But it's exactly the same as what I had before in the folder. Because when I downloaded it, you know, when you download something twice as a raw file, it'll always put yeah. a one in bracket to have it. Well, when yeah. I've just gone to look at it, I thought, hold on, that's got a one. So I've just scrolled down more folder for downloads, and it's already in there as a raw file. So I've unrawed it as you do, throw it into more mod folder, and it's just said, do you want to overwrite? The previous version so i've just said yes so whether it's you know had a something done to it you never know do you so mm -hmm. i'll leave it where it is i'm hoping it'll go door before i deliver this trailer and if it does 
A little bit all right. It's just the trouble when you mod, like you mod these games, you just got to experience all this messing about, and then you'll just get it right, and then FCS Software will release a, a, a new patch or a new summit, and it'll mess it all up again. Right. But these must be really dedicated people, because they'll go back and start putting it right again. So it's just not instead of like Please making the, the game, you know, all coming together and right. So and so did this, you did that, you did that, and making this game just one awesome, awesome game to be a lot better to do Please that. Turn left. You know, take them on the books or something. Yeah. I mean that bloke who does the the vehicles, that jazzy cat. His vehicles, you might be driving down the road and you'll see a DHL or a post office. I even seen ITV news van and Sky News. <laughs> You know what I mean? And this guy ain't even English, I think he's Polish. You know what I mean? And he's pulling like ITV. How do you know? That's my area. That's like central. <laughs> Amazing. So, you know, if they took him on and said, look, right, you am in charge of doing all the car designs. So and so, you am in charge of doing this map. Yeah, I'm in charge of making that whole map so every all our road connections fit on the roads properly. Because, as you notice, that big red, that coloured map, it A level. Yeah? Mm. And that's to do with pro mods not being aligned with the rest of the world in the game. Who's he doing here? There's loads of things to do, isn't there? You know, the game. Oh. I mean, and, and now when you're putting extra maps on, you've got now, I mean, you drive for hours, bro. You could sit there and you could drive for two or three hours in the real time. <laughs> you know. I mean, I do sometimes, how I feel, but like when my eyes start hurting or my arse starts getting numb, although my arse ain't too bad because it vibrates, so that keeps me all like <laughs> from getting a numb bum. <laughs> But sometimes I'll, I'll lie in bed, and my hands will vibrate, like them twitchy, because I've been I've been gaming too long. You know. Oh. oh. About ten minutes the other night, I lie in bed, and my hands are just like like I got the shakes, like I need another beer or something. <laughs> I'll get old kid wants a beer. Oh. But, but but if you look at these people, that. Um, I'm on about circulation. That's all it is. A vibration. Yeah. You know, like he does it, do he? Um, in both of them, the cricket out when he's on about getting the circulation to his feet. Well, that's any vibration. So if we're getting that, my circulation should be shit hot. Yeah, was arse it here with the steering wheel. I mean, I ain't got force feed, force feedback up that much. Um, you don't need it in Euro. Oh dear. Oh my. Trust me to get stuck at a border control now. <laughs> <laughs> you could normally come to a border control and pull straight up. There's one border control and look, I'm stuck behind another, a wagon, another two cars. Let's see if I can yeah. get my truck here, Paul. Working for a end of stream. I don't know why it won't work. I've uh, encountered them. Um, now I've had the. Getting on a ferry where you've got parked as well in, uh, in, in between a train sort of thing. Then oh. I've had to fucking show me past uh, me credentials. Yeah, there's lots in it though, isn't there? Oh, mate, well. you never a dull moment in this, man. Never a dull moment. That's what I said last night. Euro, you have to stop more and you've got more things to, you know, stop your journey. We're in America, if you just like want to just drive, you've only got that way, you know, your weighing bridge, just to check how much weight you're uh, carrying. Right. And that's it. And I think you've got, well, to my knowledge, on normal DLCs for that game, you've got one island and you've got one ferry crossing. That's right at the top of the map. Um, that's the only two I've ever found. 
But um, what is it? I like driving through San Francisco, you know, because eh, well, I can't remember what program it used to be. But you drive to San Francisco. Oh, it could have been, but the way they the, the streets like go up hill, they go up hills, and they got the trams next to the road. So you know, going up a hill, you go over the junction, you go up another hill, and that's how it is. I've se I'm sure I've seen that in Grand Theft Auto as well. Streets of San Francisco. I'm sure I have. But it's uh, it's just like, it makes you feel like you're in America properly. You know what I mean? When you see stuff like that. And that Grand Canyon, because that's, an, I think, Mark, I'll put it in for you. That Grand Canyon rebuild. Uh, it looks just just like the real Grand Canyon. There's a helicopter flying out over the middle of it. I mean, I'm sitting there one day. And uh, I'd gone to do a job and the diversion kicked in. So I thought, shall I drive through the cones now? I'll, I'll do what the game's supposed to be. I'll do the diversion properly. Yeah. So, you know, you can either let the sat-nav do it yourself or you can bring up your map and, you know, choose, pick your route. So you don't have to go through the, the same bit again. Anyway, I did that. He took me through this um, mountain range and all the road for about 20, 30 minutes in real time was bumpy as hell. I was going through a big, it's like going through the mountain on like a dare track in America. I said, to, I said to your brother, I said, Mark, you've got to find this road and just go and experience, but you, you know, you will. You could yeah. drive fast. It's trying to mimic like the dare road. So you've got like the, the noise of the, you know, like how you'd be driving on gravel. Yeah. And then, because the gro the grooves are they've made it, every time you go over one of these grooves, your wheel shakes like shit, and it don't matter how much force feedback you got on, it lets you know. So imagine me, I'm sat in on the cushion as well. So every time I'm going over a bump, I'm popping them transducers under my arsenal. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. So, to have that, I mean, if I could get my hands on now, <clears throat> and now it sounds, it don't sound a lot, 2,500, yeah, so say 500 pound, well I know it's a 500, but say 400 pound for the VR headset, yeah? Yeah. And two grand for the, the unit that shakes the shit out of my chair, because that's all it is, it's 2,000 quid. You'd have the ultimate thing then, so I'd have the cushion, the shaking of the wheel, like for Fanatec, yeah. VR headset, to be in reality with the game, and then the and then the, the bloody cushion as well as having a vibrating seat. I mean, you'll you'll think about it. People go on holiday, do they? And spend two grand on an holiday? What for fourteen fucking days? Nothing, is it? No. Yeah. And then you got that for life, are you? That's how I, I mean, see it. I know, I know. Yeah. It's, 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 especially about the time we've played games a lot. I'd love it. I've, well, I've seen that motion chair where I could buy for this. There's a guy in Australia called Boosted Media named Will, and he's got the same rig. Well, I don't know if he's got the same rig now. I am sure I think he's changed his rig, but he had exactly what I'm sitting in and this motion platform on. And, you know, it brings him forwards, uh, left and right. I mean, there's three. There's another one called Traction Loss. Where it makes you move to the left and the right. It's on. It's like on big uh, like motors, as well. But I don't know how much that is. That's the that's the ultimate. You know what I mean? You know. Uh, I ain't got the room in the bedroom for that. I'd have to go and put this in the conservatory if I wanted anything like that doing. But yeah, I can say. You need a full room, don't you? You do for stuff like that. You have definitely you not, do. Have you not? Have you not got a three bedroom? No. Nah, nah, I need two bedroom. I wished our own, our own man always said he, he wished he'd have built upstairs as well as downstairs, the same size conservative downstairs as upstairs, yeah? yeah. But Take it would have cost you to too much about. money to knock the existing um, conservatory down because he'd have had to build the foundation stronger. Please take right. the exit. To, you know, to carry an upstairs, yeah? Um... Because before he, he become ill, that was what we was going to do. We was either going to have it knocked down, 
build better foundations and then have a bedroom built or have the roof done so right. make it more not so because it's damp in the winter um and it's a bastard to warm up as well uh costs too much to eat because you lose heat uh, it's a real it's a, a proper a, a proper roof well i've got we've got massive in service reels you know well we got answers then for the house yeah, yeah, same the only thing um as i got is because we have to share a back garden so i have to go through my neighbor's back garden to get round the back we have to leave a we have to leave a gap for that so we can open the back gate um so basically that's swinging of a back gate and there's a manhole cover on the other side of the conservatory room which we couldn't block that up otherwise that manhole cover would have been in the in the conservatory itself so that's the only reason why either full length of the house but it, it's 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 the length virtually and the width it took three quarters of our garden up because it custom built this the bloke who built it for our own man he said look you know if you don't mind letting me do my other jobs monday to friday and then i'll come and work on your conservatory saturday and sunday i'll do you know bigger than what i normally would do so our own man says oh no problem so they, they put the foundations down first it was months before they come back to our house uh, and then before I know it, one day he was building the walls, somebody else had turned up to put the windows in, somebody else come to put the roof on, you know what I mean? And before we know it, we was living in, we was in our conservatory. But like, you know, I mean, our own money used to spend, what, 80, 85 pound on gas to, to warm it up in the winter. And of course, you're losing all the heat out here on them, cal we, we used, he, um, he brought two Caligas eaters, and both of them broke. He'd bent them out, you know, like, over time. Oh, well. So, like, now, nah, we've only got, like, I wouldn't say rubbish in there. I mean, the old man's PC, that's now in the front. Um, always got that. Uh, his desk, we throw it outside. It's no good. So that freed up a bit of space. Uh, mother's got a freezer in there. I've got all my camera gear in there. Again, that's all in um, what they call it, oil pressured boxes. So basically, nothing can get in, no gamp or nothing. So that's all good. But because um, I was going to put this downstairs, but again, who wants to sit in the freezing cold? I don't, wanna, you know what I mean? No, I don't either. Yeah. So we thought we could get, I mean, I said to our mother, shall we have a roof for on? And she says, well, I'm your mother, does as well, not, not really. But, you know, if, if it ever did get to the stage and, you know, find somebody who can put us a proper roof on, it might be beneficial, like, you know, go and, snap, go and slap a rad in there, have a new thing, and then I would turn half of that room into a gaming thing. So then I'd have, have my bedroom back, basically, bro. <laughs> but, Please use the right lane. but if I do, I'm going to, like I said to Mark, I'm going to move all this, con all this up to the top of my room. And where I'm sitting now, I'm going to put my PC desk here. Because uh, that's smaller. Because that desk I bought from Ikea, it's like a scalloped in the middle. So you sit into the desk more. So it's how to take up so, so much space. So when people, when anybody comes, wants to come into the room, they can open the door properly. At the moment, they're cool. So if they try to open the door, then I'm going to hit the back of this chair when I'm sitting here. Well, you know. when I'm sitting in my noble chair, I'm pushed into the desk anyway, so I can just open the door, no problem. So then, I'll go back to using the 29 Ultra Wide for shooting games. So, like, like if we go into, like, um, oh, what's that game we've just mentioned? Fucking hell. Come on, Division. bro. Oh, Division and stuff like that. I can play that on the older PC. Um, again, it's going to be a come down. I hate playing it in uh, a big 15 inch telly. But I don't know. I'm sure the division, I can use my tracking bar with that. I'm sure I can use track, um, my Toby Eye tracking with that. Oh. So, well, some of the games I can use Toby Eye tracking. 
and some of them I can use track I I mean, you know that one Mark says that one night they get that armoury through. Yeah. I can use track I R in that. Uh, yeah, again, but it's. I mean, it's a it's a it's a game as in like playing the division or any of the other shooting games. That's really hard, I find. You have to be real precise. I mean, you have Mark they got the patience for it, as we already know. <laughs> <laughs> it's wank. He's a weird dude. But I found it really good. I played it the other night. I bought a DLC. It's all in fucking German, and it. <laughs> so like them. Oh, for armor or that con well it's a big con really uh on the steam workshop it says in german and english so i thought well you know because it's a it's to do with the cold war in 1983 against east germany and west germany it's real it's based on real facts yeah, yeah. um so i thought oh that's that, that sounds good so you're actually either playing either west germany or east germany whichever you choose so I start off, I goes into the game, I fix my language, which of course is English. It's all sprungs in Dutch and all in fucking German. I was like, okay, so I types in Google, I have to get this certain um, DLC in English, nothing. So I thought, right, so I typed in the name of the DLC I downloaded on the D uh, Discord channel. So of course, join the Discord channel. Typed it in. Hi, I'm new to the game. I've just bought this. Can anybody tell me how I can change the language from German to English? As it's a little bit hard to understand the commands and the things I'm asking me to do because I hate German. After nope. it says on Steam, it's also compatible for English. Some guy who must be part of the game, for, for you know says no it's only in german the only thing you'll get is german it can be changed but you'll need somebody to change it all for you uh with a patch again it's a out so somebody would have to do it for you um yeah. i'll get onto steam and have them change it so basically i paid 16 quid for something that i can't even play well i can because it gives me it gives me german subtitles yeah, yeah. it gives me english subtitles but you know what I mean? If you're reading the subtitle, you're going to miss half the command. Yeah. You know. But it's addictive. Um, just the mission I'm on at the moment, I'm actually driving a tank. And I'm in charge of another three groups. I was telling Mark yesterday. Or I don't know if he was in here. I brought a program called Voice Attack. I don't know if you two have ever heard of it. I've not. Right. Well, basically, what it is, is... You can actually tell, speak into your mic, and it's like programming your keyboard and your games to react to your voice. So with track IR, <coughs> F12 is how we recenter the the tracking. Yeah? yeah. So rather than pressing, and you know, when you as I am now, if I'm gaming, I don't want to be fumbling for F12 to centre the track IR. Yeah. Yeah. So if I've got the software running. All I just say is centre or middle, because I've sold it. Look, if I say the word middle, mimic by pressing F12 for a couple of seconds and then releasing it. That's what this software does. It's like right. me pressing that F12 button, even though I pressed it. And then it centres my track IR back into the, you know, wherever I've asked it to centre it to yeah. with my head. Um and I said to Mark, I'm trying to see if I could get the button box where I could say, like, lights on, lights off. So I wouldn't have to even press my lights on my button box. I could do it by voice control, you know what I mean? Because sometimes yeah. you, you don't want to take your hands off the steering wheel, so I could say, turn left, my left indicator would come on, turn right, you know what I mean? I mean, it'd be a bit silly. Well, I don't know, I'd say silly, but... <laughs> I was watching these guys who was doing this armory, and they, and like I, you a lot play all the division, right? Yeah. And you're more talking. Oh, I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. Well, these guys was in charge of a unit, yeah. Now this guy yeah. was playing it on his own, but he's like still in charge of a unit. So he was going uh, one, two, three, uh, fire, and all his men was going copy, 
so basically they was re he was saying his commands through this software into armory and they was following what he was saying instead of like having to press the tilde key and doing it that way you know what i mean which is a lot harder yeah. eh? because yes. but again try training that software to understand my accent fuck you know no, oh, it was bro it was it's funny I know. Well, I asked it to do one command and I got browsers opening up. Because <laughs> the, the people that make this voice attack have gone into that armory. I think that's why they made that the, the software. So you can do more commands with your voice than um, keep pressing buttons. Any road. There's commands in there I'd, ne I'd never use, yeah? So you got what they call the vanilla basic commands. That's all I need. Take the first exit the roundabout. I mean, different if he was playing me, Yo, Stefan and Mark, yeah? Yeah. I probably, we would probably use them. Or I would probably use them. Please take the exit. But I'm never going to, I'm never going to happen. Because your, your brother will never play that. Um, And I'll never play it with that many people. I'll always play it on my own. Um, I don't think he's got a single player to play, um, a multiplayer to play it like with other people. Unless you're joining their things, and I ain't good enough to play it in there, that kind of game. But uh, even the vanilla ones was loading up stuff. Because I had to download this script, and it put all the commands in. Um, but there's a part of it where it says, do not change. Well, I changed certain wet. Some of the words you can change to what you. So I don't want this one opening up. Uh, F11. It was making my screen go massive. So I right. went to I went to the command, and instead of saying the certain word, I changed it to a word which I could understand better, and it stopped F11 opening up my screen or something. Right. Okay. Uh, it's good software. But you can do every other things with it. I was telling it, Marcus, like when you, you know, when you get a VR headset and it goes out of zinc. Yeah. Until you said it day tonight, but it, you know, if it needed centering and he's got to fumble about looking for a switch or a button on his keyboard while he's wearing it, all he has to say is middle, and you can get that for the free version. I mean, it cost me eight quid for the the, the full version, but I don't mind. Um. I got it from their website. Right, I've got 98 more left to travel, and then I'm done. <laughs> you know, won't be doing this. one of them in a hurry, will you? No. This just took three nights, this has. Well, last night. Tonight. So, yeah. It must be cut. Glutton for punishment, we must be. I'll be done. I think they give me a, a class, class. Is it class one? In HGV. <laughs> I've hurt me class one and two. The yeah, other more's me and your brother have done on this, and your brother's. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many hours Mark's done on this. I know before I reset it, I've done loads. I've reset it twice in the matter of a year and a half. <clears throat> but I'm at a nice place at the moment. I've got like a beach, palm trees, water, boats. Don't ask, don't ask me where I am in the world, but it looks absolutely awesome. I think it's Libya. I'm sure that's Libya where I am now. Alright, fucking hell, I'd like to go there in real life. Mate, you want to see the port? I mean, I know in, in the game, I'm sure it's Libya. I got all police cars and boats bobbing on the way to Aaron. It's just coming dark now. You get chances to watch the last little, the last say, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. The graphics in this, and we ain't got like um, natural looks in yet. This is just box standard graphics. When you put like, um, what you call it, the other one in the natural looks. Jesus, makes it even look be even better. Mm. And I, I have never experienced it yet, have you? No. Yeah. 
Yeah, wait till you put like stuff like natural looks in. So all this, because at the moment the skies just look like a pale blue. Uh, they don't look too bad at the moment because we've got that weather mod that does change the skies a little bit. But when you got stuff like natural looks in, and they have all like proper um, skies. Oh man, sunrises and that. I mean, it don't look too bad at the moment. But they, again, with this coming out, they ain't done an update now for ages, natural looks. You know, like, you know, you see, like, Sorry, well, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. So, well, that, the, at the version that's out, won't work with this on 3.7? No, no, not yet. I looked yesterday, I went looking for, I went looking for that software yesterday. Because that's, that's the only thing missing now, I mean... I've got enough road to last me in months, probably a year. Um, it's just I wanted Please some better lane, quali quality skies. But Mark says we can, we can tweak our graphics cards, yeah, NVIDIA graphics Please cards. And what it does is it makes it a lot more better than what it looks at the moment. But I got the knowledge to go into my graphics card, yeah, and tweak whatever. Because so, a load of files you have to change in that uh, NVIDIA config file thing. Yeah. And the least I want to do is start messing about with that and fuck things up, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> this is me. Yo, yeah, yo, no, it's me. <laughs> I fuck up anything, me. Not on purpose, like, but. Although, like Mark says, he says, you well mess nothing up because all you have to do is press reset and it just take your. Uh, graphics card and the game back to how it was previously so don't worry about anything like that just supposed to make like a bit more sharper and I don't know if it does saturation and shit like that but you think because you know that Anslow is it with uh, Nvidia yeah. that don't work I can make my game look fantastic but any RC that he will stream it so What's the point in doing it? Um, what is it? The the software I've got on now, the OBS, it won't pick it up. So it's pointless sat sat there 20 minutes pissing about changing the colour and getting it looking good, like with a bit of contrast and for what? <laughs> Nothing. Up oh, that trip distance, I've got one hour 35 minutes. Which basically is another five minutes in game, real time. And I've done my 3000 journey. It's probably late as well. I have never ever. And your brother says this is lighting the road up better. My horse. Now, there's some fucking journeys on here, 1800 miles. It's late <laughs> as a day for that. Aye. I don't mind it, because. Not many people interact on Twitch. Um, well, they don't with me anyway. And nobody's interacted at all in YouTube at all tonight. I'm really surprised. Whether YouTube I updated to show me if anybody's watching. Because uh, at the moment, saying I've got one viewer because I've got the thing open, it's me. I'm watch I ain't watching my own stream, but because I've got YouTube open, the, um, the recording thing. It's indicating it's me. Are you even have you ever tried ever tried that mixer? Any uh, you two? What mixer? It's called Mixer. It's another streaming oh, platform. Yeah. No, I've, not, I've heard of it. Yeah, but no, I've not. No. So do we Microsoft? I've tried it myself, but again, I stream for about two hours. Never even had nobody look. <laughs> Are you, you know, you, you fill out your shit on like Twitter. Again, what do I expect? That was Facebook, are you? Yeah. So, and if you're away gaining money to get your posts out, nobody shares your shit. You're away gaining out there to the public. They do block your posts. I don't Take give a shit what they say. The I know that for a fact. Because they do that with my photography stuff. But then soon after Please the tenner. I'm sick. 
if I do a, a picture on Facebook or a stream and it does well, say like my mate comes in and has a, a, a rattle yeah. and probably types 20 times on the screen, after I finish it, within a couple of seconds, if you give us £10, you can reach X amount of people. I'm like, you know what? Do one Facebook. <laughs> it should be free, shouldn't it? Why yeah. should they block? They want money. That's all Facebook is now. It's just money. Money, 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 money. I used to enjoy going on Facebook. And I hate it now. And the quality. 720 on your, 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 your proper accounts. So your name. And if you've got a page, I'm lucky if you can get 1080p. What's that to any yeah. good? No good. Have you seen 1080p quality? It's shite. Was it that bad, is it? It looks blocky, mate. It looks like I'm, I might as well that's, just run it. That's full HD, that. I know. It still looks shit. <coughs> I've used... If I use NVIDIA's own software, the NVIDIA experience... That don't even give me 1080p, it gives me 900. Don't even give me the full uh, 1080p. Um, so I'll use OBS and tell it to do 4K. And then, then they have to convert it down to 1080p then. That's the only way that can do it. Nice. But, if somebody types something, that latency, there's a gap before... Uh, they get my reply. I see it instantly, but there's like I don't know, it could be I don't know, forty seconds before they get that reply back to them. Yeah. And it's just come up. I'm in Syria. That's where I am in the world. Okay now. Good. Fucking hell, it's not a place I want to visit. <laughs> I've got forty. I'm just going into Syria now, but I'm going through Syria's border control in this game. So it just shows how far I fucking drove. I've gone from Katistan to Syria. Jesus. And I've got 30 miles left to go, which is... It does say, it does say 44 minutes in game, but it ain't any like five minutes. We can have 30 minutes. By the time I'm through this border, I'll have an icon flash up on my screen saying I'm like that round thing. <coughs> I'm on the way to Los Angeles, Phoenix. I ain't played a minute. I might do a stream on American in a minute. I know I'm my mate, Bobster. Uh, I don't think you've ever met Bobster yet, bro. Nice bloke. He's got he's he's, uh, he's got your euro. He's Bobster. like yourself. Yeah, he's like yourself. Just started to play it, so well, that's what I said. When you know we can get on Trucker's MP, I'll drop him a message. There's a bloke named Keith, um, who I met playing multiplayer with one night. I was just driving down the road, and this idiot crashed crashed into me. So me, I got on the CB and gave him a round of uh, you know what, yeah. and this and this guy answered me back like. And we've got we were just talking. I was in front of he was in he was in front of me. And we just started talking, me and Keith. And uh he said, Look, we got to I got to a port and he says, oh, I'm heading so and so. I said, Well, I'm going the opposite way, mate. I said, Nice talking to you. Um and he said, Look, have you got any social media? I says, Yeah, it's the same as my thing, Black Country Blitz, PC gaming. Anyway, he said okay and that was it I thought I don't think nothing of it when I come off gaming he'd added me on Twitch uh, on Twitter so of course I added him on Twitter then he added me on YouTube then I added him on um, Steam and then he jumped in and he made me he made me my Black Country Blitz truck he made me my trailer and he showed me how to make skins, basically. What, so, what file format are the skins? Like, right. No, 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 no. Right, you have to have a plug-in for Photoshop. Yeah? Yeah. So, you get a template. You then open up 
the foil uh, with this plug-in in Photoshop, put your design on the template, save it as a JPEG or a GIF, check it into another bit of software that turns it into the foil well, format yeah. that the game understands, and then load it up. But it ain't easy, bro. Oh, I've I've only I've only made one, yeah. And it took me, uh, yeah, it's fucking, well, Please you've got things right called name, MIP maps, right M-I-P, yeah? yeah? Well, we were talking, to, I talked, to, I sat the other night, Please I'd gone into right Discord, exit. and I got a message, a bleep, again, I hate to clue up on Discord, I thought, what's the bloody hell is this bleeping at? And what it was, Keith had sent me an invitation to go on voice, well, he was talking with another lad named Joel. So, Joel added me and all on Discord. Um, and they was trucking. Oh, I'd just finished a stream. But I will post my streams in Discord if anybody comes and joins the channel. It's something for them to look at. Yeah. And I was asking him about this. I says, I'm glad I've seen you. I says, because I could get these bloody mip maps. He says, you ain't got them out up as a mip map. I says, so... You, you just do your design. He said, look, do your design on a template. So basically, you've got the template. You put your design over the top of the template. Hide the template and then save the picture, yeah? Yeah. As So what's transparent, they'll show on the truck. What's in in them other parts will show on the truck. Uh, so I either want to do an Albion one or another one with a black country on, yeah? Um, but he made me two. He's done me two. But I'd like one for every kind of truck I've got. So two. scan here. And then do another one for um, America. Because I've got all the templates of all the different trucks in both games. Hey, I'm here. I've actually made my destination. Okay, you now. Open them barriers. <laughs> destination reached. Navigation destination reached. Finished. I think so, I know. 3,000 mile trip. Let's go and see how late I am now. And see how much money I day make. That has been a, a long one, man. Jeez, I could even... Oh, I forgot. I've just changed over to your brother's bloody lights. Hey, I could have got no reverse lights now. Nah, so I've got a... In mine, I've got a mod where it gives us a really bright reverse light. So basically, when it's dark, as it is in there now, you can see, I can't even see shit with the ones your brother gave me. Come on. Where have you put them in? I've put, I've put the ones your brother said you use. There's no reverse lights on this for kiss my arse. Oh, I've got to take. I've got to take a I've got to take this one out. He said use. It's one. I go see. I can't, you'll see on the stream, I can't see to reverse the bloody truck. Oh, it's that door. Like going forward, it was total black, fucking useless. Well, you know what Russ does, do you? Russ goes and tells him on these mods. Well, that's a load of shit. I don't care if it's good. I mean, that weatherman, I can't thank that guy enough. Because the thunder and lightning sounds, mate, that ain't loud. I mean, I've had the windows up, and it's mega loud. And then when you actually bring the window down, geez, it gets even louder. Which it would do because you've got the windows open. It's bloody awesome, man. It's like they say, it? it does what it says on the tin. Yeah. Where this one is supposed to be bright and light. My horse. I mean, the track, the, the, that, that, the mod um, for the weather I help him. Because yeah. that makes your game door. If I took, if we took that out, then it would be a lot better. But you can't afford to take that out because the weather's just shit without it. The weather, the weather don't look any good. The rain, uh, you can't see through your mirrors if you was to take it out. You know, like you know, like rain. If you, the faster you go, the faster it comes off your windows, do it in a car. Well, if you don't use the one what I'm using now, it though, it stays there and, and it, you can see through your mirrors. So again, that one's a bit shit and all. Oh, I could even park this. 
And I've told this. You know, like, have you, you know where you get the option to like skip? Well, I thought yeah, do it's... that because I've turned that off. I've got, I have got a port. He's struck in the freaking oh, door. Right, skip the cunt, mate. Oh, no, I do. I'll park. It's just getting the right angle. It is. I've got it. Otherwise, you jackknife the bastard. I've got it now. I should, I, I should do. It's air open with this bloody F1 wheel. <laughs> And somebody's put all freights and things in front of me, bloody, to reverse. Tell that again. That I help you. Come on, good bloody green on me. Should get green now. Well before away. My truck looks brilliant now. How I've coloured it. Did you get round to doing all yours? I've got in your I've got a couple of trucks with my name on the top, yeah. I oh, say, so yeah, I mean, like I so say, you sorted it then. I mean, mine's got like, mine's all in like yellow, the black country blitz. Hey, yeah, that's it. There you go, folks, on YouTube for the people that have waxed for the last how long? Three hours, thirty-five minutes. Thanks for viewing. Not anyway. Good work. So I was late. How oh, it tastes? Damage penalty. Uh, I earn. How much did I earn from that? Two. One seven two thousand seventeen. I don't know. No, two, it'll be more than that for folks. Two sake. two one seven thousand nine hundred and six pound. Right, well that's a lot of money that. I know, but I have to, it has took me total distance three thousand four hundred and seven mile and it's took me hundred and six hours twenty seven minutes. I don't know if that's in real time anyway, but that's how long it's took any road. That's you, you don't.